As we're all glued to our screens, watching the European football championship and marveling at these incredible athletes, a few questions might pop into our heads. Like, who's got it toughest out there? Is it the goalkeeper with all that pressure? Or maybe the captain, trying to lead the team to victory? And what about those defenders? Are they really running as much as the forwards and midfielders? Then there's the big one. Who's most at risk of getting injured? Because let's face it. An injury can not only end a player's career but also shatter a team's dream of lifting that trophy. Here are some fascinating research studies on this topic. A research team from Chile conducted an in-depth analysis of the intensity of football matches. Their study examines how the intensity of play varies by position among youth players in a professional Chilean league. What is the research focusing on? This research focuses on external load metrics, which compare the physical demands placed on players in different positions during matches. By measuring factors like distance covered, speed, and acceleration, the study provides insights into which positions require the most physical effort and which players might be at a higher risk for injury. The study found significant differences in the total distance covered during the first half of the game between defenders and forwards, as well as between defenders and midfielders. This indicates that defenders tend to cover less distance compared to forwards and midfielders in the first half of the match. Differences were also observed in the distances covered at sprint speeds, 25 to 30 km per hour, suggesting that forwards and midfielders engage in more sprinting activities compared to defenders. Moreover, forwards were found to engage in more high-intensity running compared to both midfielders and defenders, including more very high-intensity running. Overall, the study concluded that there are significant differences in external load according to playing position, with forwards experiencing the highest intensities of play during matches compared to defenders and midfielders. This suggests that the role of a forward is more physically demanding in terms of intensity metrics measured in the study. Can this research be used in trainings and for match preparation? The research provides valuable insights into the physical demands placed on young soccer players in different positions. By understanding these differences, coaches can tailor training programs to better prepare players for the specific demands of their positions potentially improving performance and reducing the risk of injury. So what about injuries? A research team from Spain analyzed the correlation between playing position, injury type, and frequency of injuries. They found that the number of injuries increases depending on the category and position due to the specific sporting demands. Specifically, midfielders and central players are the most affected athletes. Interestingly, the study revealed that while category and playing position influence the frequency of injuries, they do not significantly affect the injured body part, which predominantly involves the lower limbs. Nevertheless, the results strongly advocate for implementing position-specific injury prevention training programs. The study underscores the importance of tailored injury prevention strategies based on both category and playing position to mitigate lower limb pathologies effectively. If you are doing research on sports or any other field, contact us. We would like to hear more.